So this is going to be the second to last on the Spark Station 20, probably. Uh, I'm going to be mounting the main board here into the chassis, throwing the drive in, putting the CPUs in, and some memory. Uh, so let's see, just got to slide this in. There's a couple of plastic rails here. Um, so it kind of fits in and tilts down. And hopefully, fits in nicely. Kind of difficult to do hugging a camera. Let's get this guy out of the way. Did we get this in? Right, yeah. So that guy just slides in like that. Pretty nice. And there's a couple of retained screws at the back here. Make sure I don't have anything uh, getting pinched here. Looks pretty good. A little bit of a tight angle here. Spring-loaded, uh, spring-loaded retained screws. Okay, it's tightening up nicely. There we go. Main board is in. Okay, what's next? Let's connect up all the cables. We got the floppy disk ribbon. Which should go and right here. Ah, oh, it's a tight squeeze. But look at the engineering difference. This is mid-90s uh, technology. Things just slide in the main boards on a panel. You know, packaged very, very nicely. It is an absolutely wonderful setup here. We're going to need the main power connector. Let's do the SCSI uh, Connector first. Here's the SCSI 2. Don't get too tangled up here. Riveting YouTube, I'm sure. We got a SCSI 2. It goes in there. Very tight fit. Okay, SCSI 2 is in place. Power. This guy here is for the hard drive activity and I think the speaker. Tuck this guy a little out of the way. Extra power connector. What that goes for. Is the CD-ROM currently powered now? We'll put that in after we put the drives in. So I guess that should be the next step, is the drive. So a previous video on the Dandy Caddy. Fantastic. And it just slides in and snaps forward. Okay, drives in. Add RAM. As you'll notice here, I am wrist strapped up. So let's get the uh, the vSIM in. Well, there's my 8 megabyte vSIM. So that's really a frame buffer on a memory module. It's got 8 megabytes of video memory. Snap him in place. And then we start adding memory from the back. I'm just going to put in the 128 megs for now. Um, I have enough to get this guy up to 384. Press this guy in. I have him backwards. Okay, that guy's in. And the next one. I 
And last for the MBUS modules, the HyperSparks here. This will be interesting to do in this position. So these guys are up here. The other four slots here are for SBUS cards. I don't know what I want to add into this system quite yet. Um, it's going to need a 100 megabit Ethernet. That's for sure. Um, but do I want to do the 100 megabit Ethernet on its own card? Or do I want to have uh, the combination 100 megabit and SCSI? That guy's in. to get this slotted just right. We're going to take out the vSIM. A little lever on the opposite side can go up. Yeah. But those retaining clips are back. There we go. Much easier. Retaining clips go forward. Okay. Now then the vSIM can go back in. was the right slot for it. I had it in the wrong slot anyway. <sighs> Not all the way back. Cool. We are done. So that's it for putting together a spark station. Um, power to the CD drive over here as well. Need to do that. Um, and the fan should already be in on this. Uh, should already be in the power setup, let's go up like this. Very tight space, but I love the pizza box form factor. Okay, cool. There we go. Fully assembled Spark Station 20. Next video, look at the boot up and see its configuration, and then following that, we'll throw some operating system on it, and that'll do it.